we learn lessons from every place. And one lesson we can learn is from the novel of Tale of Two Cities, the Dickens classic from 1859, set in London and Paris before and during the French Revolution. Quote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epic of belief, it was the epic of incredulity. No one should forget Sidney Carton's heroic decision to sacrifice his own life to save that of the falsely accused Darnay. There are parallels today in a modern tale of two cities, this time set in Sonoma County. The two cities are Petaluma and Santa Rosa. That makes Roner Park our English channel. Fresh off the victory of a veto of California Senate Bill 649, the state's small cell bill, the terms of which stretched crudility, experts from mystreetmychoice.com, myself, Attorney Harry Lehman, and Dr. Trevor Marshall, in late January and early February of 2018, met with both city staffs from Santa Rosa and Petaluma, asking each to take steps to protect their residents from an invading force. That would be Verizon. One city staff listened, the other collectively stuck their heads in the sand. Petaluma city staff listened, Santa Rosa city staff did not, and unfortunately they are still not listening. Just last night, the Petaluma city council passed an ordinance to modernize their municipal wireless code and their zoning ordinance to protect its residents from the safety, privacy, and property value hazards that so-called small cell towers bring to neighborhoods. What did Petaluma city council pass? Number one, prohibited small cell installation on city-owned light poles and other city-owned street furniture forever. Two, allowed small cells on PG and utility poles only in mixed use commercial and industrial zones, not in residential zones. Number three, established a 500 foot setback from a so-called small cell to any residence in any zone. Number four, set a 1,500 foot setback between any two small cells from any wireless carrier. This solves the problem of quote unquote infill and leaves most utility poles without a small cell. Understand? You allow one here, you let four poles go, you put another one here, nobody gets to put them in between. Very smart idea. You should do that once every 3,000 feet because that's what Santa Rosa, that's what Verizon CEO says they need for their distances. So what is Santa Rosa doing? Santa Rosa has the same information and the same opportunities, but they're not doing them. Instead, we fight over California Public Records Act requests. When we try to get the information about what's going on for the status of these small cells, Santa Rosa hides the information. They do very poor jobs of putting records together. If they don't like the fact they're not providing, they call the police. This is ridiculous. You need to listen to the people who are trying to protect the residents and actually protect them. Thank you.